And yeah, it's a lie. It's like a white lie. It's like, oh yeah, I'm lifting the weight. Indirectly, you see me looking strong. I'm not really that strong. And yeah, it promotes his training books a bit more. Yeah, it's kind of a little deceiving in terms of, well, you think Jeff Cavalier knows everything because look how strong he is. He's got less body fat than Coach Greg and he lifts all that weight. So, man, he must know a lot about training. So it's a little deceptive. So is he lying or not lying? Yeah, it's kind of a little deceiving in terms of, well, you think Jeff Cavalier knows everything because look how strong he is. He's got less body fat than Coach Greg and he lifts all that weight. So, man, he must know a lot about training. So it's a little deceptive, but not more so than a before and after photo than anything that anyone's doing. So apparently it is lying and it is a little deceptive, but that's okay because Greg Doucette himself has done it for photo shoots, for supplements or whatever the fuck. That's okay, because apparently, that's what the fitness industry is all about. It's okay to lie in the fitness industry. It's okay to show one thing, and say one thing, and do another thing. So according to Mr. Greg Doucette, and for those who are not aware of who Greg Doucette is, he's a IFBB pro bodybuilder, if I'm not mistaken, as you can see there. Obviously, he's enhanced, he takes God knows how many fucking steroids, because he's old, he's probably at about looks like about 6% body fat shredded to the fucking bone and jacked out of his fucking mind. It's okay to lie, according to Greg, because he has done it before in his own life, and there is nothing wrong with that in the fitness industry because that's what it's all about. It's not like that's what we're trying to combat against to get rid of the bullshit. You see, because the fitness industry can't be about just lifting some fucking weights, getting stronger, training, being committed, and just evolving as a human being to this next level through the experiences of training. No, it can't be about that. It has to be about bullshit. Fake weights are okay. There's no problem with doing any of that because Greg Doucette has used fake weights himself through bullshit advertisements, through whatever the fuck, because it's okay. That's just what everyone else is doing. So it's okay if everyone else does it. So an appeal to popularity fallacy is good in his book. As long as everyone else is doing it, it's good. I wonder why Greg Doucette started taking steroids in the first place. Oh, that's right, because everyone else is doing it. So now it's even Stevens, right? Yeah, everyone takes steroids, so I guess he should do it too. So therefore, it makes it okay and it makes it all right. And by no means am I saying that Greg Doucette can't fucking take steroids or end up trying to kill himself. I wish he wouldn't, but he has every single right to do whatever the fuck he wants. He's a grown ass man. I think that guy could be my fucking grandfather for all I know. And just a quick note to those people who use the excuse of taking steroids for the simple fact that they were just trying to push themselves to that next level because that seems to be everyone's excuse why they started taking anabolic steroids. Here's a news flash to you. You see, you can get to that next level naturally. It's just going to cost you a little bit more. But I understand you need to take the shortcut like everyone else does, right? All I'm saying is this appeal to popularity fallacy argument bullshit is exactly what got us to this point right now. You see, in the fitness industry, it's okay to use fake weights because whenever you can find an edge, you take that motherfucking edge because it's gonna make more sales to you or at least influence people on the internet to buy more products and bullshit nutrition plans from someone like Athlean X because everyone else is doing it. Get the fuck out of here. You see, what Greg Doucette is doing is conflating the supplement industry, which I like to call the bullshit industry, with actual fitness. Now, the supplement industry and people who think like Greg Doucette have poisoned the fitness industry, and now this is the norm. But yet, you see, what he doesn't seem to understand is that it's not correct, it's not right. I can't believe that I actually have to explain that it is wrong to lie or deceive people for you just to sell more product. It's not like the fitness industry needs another bullshitter, especially someone like Jeff Cavalier, who has essentially become the face of YouTube fitness, the go-to guy. Fitness is not supposed to be about bullshitting your audience or using fucking fake weights and then trying to justify using those fake weights or having people defend you because you use fake weights, which by the way, I haven't heard anything from anyone else. Greg Doucette is the first person I've heard actually say something about this and he seems to be 
defending him, or at least I would say, just to be fair, he seems to be taking more of a neutral standpoint. He doesn't seem to really care about any of this, you see, because he himself has deceived people in the past and he's okay with it because everyone else does it. It's all good. I wonder how the fitness industry got to where it is right now. According to Greg Doucette, integrity means nothing because it's just demonstration. Okay, so my counter argument to that, if it's just a demonstration, then why use the fucking fake weights at all? The way I see it is, if it's not a big deal, then why use it at all? Just use the fucking barbell, it's demonstration, right? Why the fuck does Jeff Cavalier have to add fake plates to his bench press or deadlift or curls or whatever, and then not say anything about it? It's because he's being a snake. He's being deceitful, he's lying, and now he's caught. And the question is, how is he going to respond? And how is everyone else going to respond that is defending this bullshit? It really is a fucking shame that I have to make a video explaining to someone like Greg Doucette that it is not okay to use fake weights, that it is not okay to deceit people, to lie, so that Jeff Cavalier can sell more programs or be more influential to his audience. Why the fuck am I talking about fake weights in fitness? Fake weights have no place in actual fitness. I said this in my previous video, do you know where fake weights belong? On a movie set with actors, because they're acting. Is Jeff Cavalier acting? And if Jeff Cavalier is acting, why is he acting? I thought this was fitness, not a fucking film, not a movie. If these weights are truly proven to be fake, like I said, maybe we should give the guy the benefit of the doubt, even though the evidence seems to be pretty clear that the weights are fake, and you want to defend Jeff Cavalier and Greg Doucette, or back up what Greg Doucette did, essentially defending Jeff Cavalier as well too, then I ask you to really reevaluate yourself in this picture of fitness. Because this right here is not fitness. This is a load of fucking shit. But I understand some people are going to defend Jeff Cavalier because they like to have smoke blown up their ass. Now, am I saying that we should fucking completely annihilate Jeff Cavalier and fucking completely write this fucking guy off? I'm not telling you to do shit. I'm just telling you that this guy fucking lied and he was being deceitful based on the information that was presented by Curleen X. Really, by the content that was actually just presented by Athlean X himself, who was then, which then provoked Curleen X to do a little bit further investigation, I'm sure, and start that whole series of debunking Jeff Cavalier. And if you're gonna continue to defend Jeff Cavalier, about these whole fake weights, if you do agree that these are fake weights, then I ask that you please loosen your grip from Jeff Cavalier's nutsack and please stop being a nut hugger because you're not really gonna get that far in life, hanging on someone else's nutsack that way. I ask that you please drift towards the side of integrity and honesty as the fitness industry is already saturated with enough bullshit and enough fake weights and fucking fake natties and people defending bullshit. So that's all I've got for now. Please let me know what you guys think in the comment sections down below. I really am looking forward to see what everyone has to say in regards to this crap. Please know that I appreciate every single one of you. You guys know who I am. I'm The Natural, so I wanna thank you for watching, and please stay tuned for the next one.